two episodes in and still enough interest. I'm surprised. I thought you guys would only check out episode one and you dropped this stuff because you didn't actually care about the story and only cared about the clickbait title of, you know, Days of My Stepsister. What's going on right now? Talked a little bit more about, like, uh, the mindset of, you know, the girl and the guy. So basically, there's this common thing of I don't want to be dependent. I want to be independent. The mom, you know, has, like, low education, works at a bar. In Japanese society, it's probably looked down upon. Therefore, she needs to look good, and it's like her armor to protect herself. It's a very interesting coping mechanism. But eventually, they need to open up and one day be able to depend on each other. And I'm sure that's where the level will blossom. Today, uh, we also ended with, like, some crazy shit. So I'm not completely sure if it was implied that she wanted to die like did she actually want to die from chuck -kun? because i thought that she was just distracted and had the headphones in but based on the d dialogue with the main character and the girl it almost seemed like he was like how, how could you do that i don't know maybe he just really cares about her and didn't want her to like get in that situation and i was thinking like wait did she actually jump into traffic like that i don't really think so but hey let's begin today's reaction マーヤ、新しいお家に遊びに行きたいって言い出して、朝村くんの、あと、マーヤに朝村くんが私の近くまで来た時、マーヤ見てたの。ごめん。でさ。Number exchange? God, it only took her almost dying from a car crash to get it. Mom. <gasps> Family dinner together? Wow. Family breakfast? Wow. <laughs> たまごうまい。めんつゆとか。うーん、うちは白だし。作ってあげたら私だとこんなにふわっとしない。俺、目玉焼き好きだから。そう。まあ。ゆうたくんもありがとうね。いえ、これくらい。二人のもまとめておろ
Close, but no, nothing. I, I, I was like looking at the water puddle, like they're gonna shoot, then they're gonna shoot. ありがとう。でも私は自分が許せないの。反射ってあるよね。リフレクシブリ。条件反射とかの。なリフレクティブリ。ああ。とっさに言ったない部分もあると思うんだ。そういう反射的な行動ができるから得をする場面。偏見は
that was necessary to build the mood. No, I am Studio Dean is not a fucking amazing studio for doing this shit. That was dumb as fuck. Straight up. When did they? They start talking at 11:14. How long? Bitch, that's 20 seconds already. That's 30 seconds. That's 40 seconds. That was 40 seconds of nothing. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's right. That is Don't say something. Don't. Don't. Don't you dare that. Th yeah, they're gonna do another 30 seconds. That's kind of cute though. The tree though, right? I don't know. I, I like that little tree that's uh, like each branch is like a. I don't know, it's like a closet for her accessories. Oh, she's outside the door! The urge! The urge! <laughs> she, she wants to come in. Yeah, yo, she was about to pounce! Huh? Oh. Episode three? I, nothing would have told me that she would make a move on episode three. All I've seen so far is her saying, stay away from me. I'm going to be my independent woman no matter what. I would have never guessed that she would have done that. But then again, there were some, there were some developments last episode, right? The whole miso thing was even a part of the deal. And now like this episode two, it's like, you know me too well. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, I think we're getting baited maybe. Well, let's see it. Come on, tell me more. You feel a little scared tonight? You want to sleep with Big Bro? Asamura -kun. Are you willing to buy my body? Wait, is she, she literally saying, let's fuck and you're going to pay me? Is that what you're actually saying? Mom and Ayase. There's a creepy person recording them. I'm kind of scared. There's no way someone's actually recording this shit, right? It's just the perspective camera work right now, right? Nichiyobi. Damn, this bitch really folded in less than a week. Because what's the date? Like June 11th or June 12th or some shit right now? June 7th they moved in? Like... <laughs> Under a week. She folded and under a week. She fucking jumped. It's for money, though. It's for money, so it's fine. ほっとした。というのが本音。どうせの時に分かっていた。記憶ばれる人だな。というのも。わざわざ湯を張り直してくれるような人。Wow. Not reused bathroom. まさか。I don't know. 6月8日。学校で話しかけられる。想像以上に朝村くんは噂を信じ込んでいたのはどうかと思うけど。仕事ないかもともいるか知ってるしね。でも怒ってそこで面倒くさがらずにすり合わせてくれた人は初めてかも。so all of this right now is to basically say, wait, you guys think that this girl jumping on Yuta is, you know, 
It is to rush. No, 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 no. This is to justify to the audience to be like, you know what? This is the perspective of Asa the entire time. Therefore, this makes sense. It is that easy, just sell your body. Oh, the traffic accident. And then her headset, her headphone got damaged. Okay. <laughs> what, it's like a boomer thing to do? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, the underwear incident. Relates it completely. <laughs> yeah, this is, what is this right now? June 11th, right? It's in, it's in like June 7th. We moved in. June 8th. He's actually ninth guy. June 10th, traffic accident, blah, blah, blah. June 11th, he's actually such a nice guy. June 12th, I sold my body to my ex, my step bro. <laughs> That's the diary, bro. The diary is gonna be like, I made miso for him today. Today we went out together with an umbrella. Oh yeah, I also sold my body. <laughs> yeah. The urge. She's acting upon the urge. Obsessed with them the entire time, huh? Less than a week, though. Dangerous for her heart. Because she wants to be like... Remember the comment she said of like, if you guys were more mean people, then this would be easier for me because she wants to be Sigma. She wants to be alone, independent, locked in, grinding. Don't want to be dependent. But now she's like, shit, I'm kind of depending on him now. Cancel Utah, bro! Utah hates sex workers! That's right, you heard it here first. My man said, ain't no time for hoes. <laughs> he wrapped her up in a blanket. I'm not sure if you guys can see. But he just like... Some clothes on, ho. Okay, okay. There it is. You know, this is gonna make her like him even more. He's gonna be like, oh my god. He's so kind. He cares about me so much. Like, like us rejecting her right now is like building up this meter. Right? The meter is kind of full, but like this is gonna just like edge even more. Now it's gonna be awkward the next day. Oh, we stayed up all night? Background story time. What did he do? Deadbeat dad failed to get the bag, so mom had to step up. And now dad's getting mad. Well, I'm not sure how true this is. You're nothing but a sex worker, so I guess this is pretty much implied that she was engaging in sex work while being a bartender to try to, like, you know, get more money for the family, right? Wonder how much of this is true or just like assumptions. I guess it was real. <laughs> with your dad. Yeah, your mom's a fucking ho. No, no, we're not going there. You, we side with the mom. 
うちも似たようなもん母親の言うわけで、oh, 父は女性恐怖症みたいになってたしねお父さん確かにスパイシー She know me so fucked The mom cheated with Ayase's dad Could you imagine the drama Bro Holy shit There's no way that would have happened but crazy shit if that did もしかしてあなたも、huh? 私たち似てるね。Yeah, we do. <笑>そうかもね。俺たちはうまくやっていけるんじゃないかな。もう一度としてさ。Yeah, no、ほら呼び方とかも。兄さんとか呼んでくれてもいいんだよ That is a sister zone moment You gotta call me Oni Sama <笑>ありがとう綾瀬さん Damn これからもよろしく朝村くん Alright 6月13日 Ending 土曜夜は朝村くんとすことに成功したから Oh? Date? 細やかな気遣いをする人だと呼ぶわけにはいかない一度でも呼んでしまえば。Okay, here's the flag, right? So the moment that she calls him big bro is the moment that she fell. Okay, dependent. それだけは絶対にダメだ。We'll wait for that moment. でも、浅村くん、yeah, 心の奥底から。<laughs> well, 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 well. So every time you say Asamura Kun, you get too horny for him. But so then you gotta call him Big Bro. But if you say Big Bro, then you get Sister Zone and you get dependent. What is it? There's no winning. What do you want? Come Step Bro then. It's called Incest Baby Alabama ass anime. She's in love. And that's today's episode. That's today's episode. I wonder what she's hiding in this drawer. I thought that this is her diaries or some shit. I don't know. But、uh, there's something there. But today's episode, <laughs> probably the spiciest one so far. <laughs> there's, there's, two, there's two very memorable moments in today's episode. First one, of course, it's the moment that <laughs> Aisa comes in and says, So,、uh, you want to buy my body? Like, damn, she actually jumped on it. Like, it's been less than a week, by the way. Less. Than a fucking week. It might be five or six days. And she's like, she went from, she went from like, no strings attached. You and me, nothing. We're not dependent. I am me, you are you. That's it. We're just gonna exist together, okay? Five years later, I'm in love with them. Not in love, but enough to act on the urges she felt. The other most memorable part 40 seconds of fucking eating. Nothing happened for 40 seconds. Jesus Christ. Sometimes the immersion, like I understand that they're doing some things to make it seem like it's a fucking cinema, you know? There's different camera works, different things. I don't know, I'm too stupid to describe them, but they're trying to make this more than just an anime episode to create this movie like drama like experience. But then the moment you spend 40 seconds fucking eating without saying anything, it breaks that goddamn immersion. So I'd say that it's counterproductive, but hey, it is what it is. It's honestly kind of funny. So now we're at this, like, um, We're at a crossroads. I actually gotta think about if I keep saying him by his like, name, I get more hornier. I, I just feel like I'm getting more attached the more I say his name. But if I call him Big Bro, then all of that's kind of gone and then I become more dependent. What do we do? Call him Step Bro. Fuck if I know, but that was a pretty spicy episode. If you're still here, If you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.